How to get started with Distributive Com or DCOM. This tutorial is created using Windows XP. However, Windows Vista and Server 2003 have a similar process. First, let's go down to the Start menu to open the DCOM config utility that is built into the Windows operating system. Click Start, then click Run. Here we can type in DCOM config dcomcnfg dot exe, then hit OK. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for the component services screen to open. Now that the screen is open, we can see it's broken into the folder view and then the console root. We want to open up component services. Then we want to open the computers. And then right click on my computer. Now click properties. At the top of the menu, we see a group of tabs. Let's start out with setting the default properties. First, it's important to ensure that the checkbox next to Enable Distributive Com on this computer is checked. Without this box checked, DCOM won't be active on this computer. Let's set the default authentication level. Click the drop down box and select None. Now, let's set the default impersonation level. Once again, click the drop down box and this time we're going to select Identify. These are the settings for the default properties tab. Now, locate the COM security tab at the top of the menu. This allows us to set who has default access launch, and activation permissions for any application using COM or DCOM on this computer. S let's start by editing the default access permissions. A list of group and user names will appear in the pop-out menu. Now, we want to make sure this list includes the following accounts. Anonymous, Everyone, Guest, interactive, network, and system. It seems that we're missing the interactive account. If you're missing any of these accounts and they're not already listed, simply click add and type in the account you're missing. So for this example, we're going to type in interactive and click OK. Now, under each group or username, we want to ensure that we're allowing local and remote access. Once these settings have been applied for all the group or user names, click OK. Now you want to edit the limits under access permissions and launch and activation permissions as well as the default under launch and activation permissions the same way. Make sure the anonymous, everyone, guest, interactive, network, and system accounts are all listed and given full control. Once you've finished, we're, we can hit apply and then OK. Now we recommend that you restart your computer to make sure that these DCOM settings have affected all of the applications. For support, FAQs or more information, please visit support.softwaretoolbox.com.